go back to the points and lead me to my business, or I will open your throat, so help me God. All right. Go on, then. Give us the rings. What goes on in this town is none of your business. As long as I'm living here, it is. Then maybe you shouldn't be living here! Well, that's easily fixed. So you found us then, Liam? And on your new country's birthday as well? You always made us laugh, Ryan. <laughs> we had some good times, didn't we, Leah? We did. You're not funny anymore. <laughs> you got any weapons on you, Ryan? <laughs> oh, no. No. Just this. Have a look. Oh, it's you, is it? Butler's nice off, is it? What do you want? A word with a gentleman. Which one? Harry Jekyll, of course. If I never saw that other devil again in my life, it'd be too soon for me. They're both in the laboratory. That'll do as well as anywhere. As a rule, the doctor doesn't admit visitors when he's working. Oh, I think he'll admit me. Very likely he'll admit both of us if you play your cards right. You said you wanted to know how to get Capone. Do you really want to get him? You see what I'm saying? What are you prepared to do? Everything within the law. And then what are you prepared to do? If you open the ball on these people, Mr. Nash, you must be prepared to go all the way. Because they won't give up the fight until one of you is dead. I want to get Capone. I don't know how to get him. Nothing. It's always something. Well, most of what I say is nothing. It's just something to say. No, men say it's just something to say in order to get away with saying something. But they know they're saying something every time they say it. Say what? What did I say? You said at my mother's tonight you would have a baby, but that I'm not ready. To my mother! You might as well have said I'm a lesbian. Well, I am the only man you ever had. Oh, I dated Timmy Harrison for four months before I met you. Isn't he a woman now? Ah, you told my mother I didn't want children! I did not! Yes, I was just coming to look for you. Are you ready for a dance now? You took your time, didn't you? Honey, I'm sorry. Don't be upset. I was saving you to last. Always save the best to last. It's true. Don't be angry. Please. Come and dance. You must mess me about. Mr. Huggins should apologize to the trees failed for the making of his bloated autobio novel. 400 vague glorious pages expire in an ending that is flat and inane beyond belief. Steady now. What is a critic but one who reads quickly, arrogantly, but never wisely? Enough. Your money in their pockets and nothing more, Joseph. I said that. That's enough, Shannon. They pickle you like a piece of pork. We're just using you. I said that's enough. Ah! No! What? No! Tell me, tell me you like my hat. You're not wearing a hat. Say it. Say you like my hat. You're not wearing a hat. Say it. 